First this noontime, though, Hernandez on trial with a high-profile witness on the stand. New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft was called to testify just this morning. He answered several questions about his former tight end. He also told the jury how he asked Aaron Hernandez if he was involved in the murder. Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell in Fall River now. She joins us with the latest from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Aaron Hernandez said he was innocent, according to testimony today from Patriots owner Bob Kraft. Two days after Odin Lloyd's murder, Kraft says he had a five to ten minute meeting with Hernandez near the weight room at Gillette Stadium. Kraft says he sought out the former tight end after news of the murder broke and because there was a huge media presence at the stadium. I understood there was an incident that had transpired and I wanted to know uh, whether he was involved in if he was, you know, I wanted to make sure he's part of our, any player who comes into our system, I consider part of our extended family, and I wanted to get him help. Okay. So as a result of, uh, did you say this to the defendant? Yes. And, and what did he say when you had asked him if, uh, uh, whether he was involved in this matter? He said he was not involved, that he was innocent, and that he hoped that the time of the murder incident came out because I believe he said he was in a club. You had no reason, Mr. no experience, Mr. Kraft, uh, with any problems with Aaron, did you? No. Sir, did you know much about the life of Aaron Hernandez outside of when he showed up to the stadium? No. The Patriots director of security also testified that in the days after Odin Lloyd's murder, Hernandez maintained his innocence. In Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Coverage continues on the Aaron Hernandez trial starting tonight live at 5. You can dig deeper into Bob Kraft's testimony from just this morning by going to our website right now. There we also have up to the minute Twitter updates from reporter Susan Campbell as the trial plays out. You can also watch our live stream from the courtroom. It's all online at WPRI.com.